If you're in church leadership or you're ordained, this is a video for you. It's A.W. Tozer's Prayer of a Minor Prophet. I got it on the wall in my office to help me remember what my calling is, what God's asking me to do. It's tough reading, but it helps me so much in staying true to my calling. It says that this is of a man who got ordained after laying hands on him, that he went out and prayed this prayer because those other mortal men couldn't take him any further. It was this prayer and this prayer to God and his calling that could take it further. And we're going to go and listen to it right here, right now. O Lord, I have heard thy voice and was afraid. Thou hast called me to an awesome task in a grave and perilous hour. Thou art about to shake all nations and the earth and also heaven, that the things that cannot be shaken may remain. O Lord, my Lord, thou hast stooped to honour me to be thy servant. No man taketh this honour upon himself, save he that is called of God, as was Aaron. Thou hast ordained me, thy messenger, to them that are stubborn of heart and hard of hearing. They have rejected thee, the master, and it is not expected that they will see me, the servant. My God, I shall not waste my time deploring my weakness nor my unfitness for the work. The responsibility is not mine, but thine. Thou hast said, I knew thee, I ordained thee, I sanctify thee. And thou hast also said, Thou shalt go to all that I send thee, and whatsoever I command thee thou shalt speak. Who am I to argue with thee, or call into question thy sovereign choice? The decision is not mine, but thine. So be it, Lord. Thy will, not mine, be done. Well do I know, thou God of the prophets and the apostles, that as long as I honour thee, thou wilt honour me. Help me therefore to take this solemn vow to honour thee in all my future life and labours, whether by gain or by loss, by life or by death, and then to keep that vow unbroken while I live. It is time, O God, for thee to work, for the enemy has entered into thy pastures and the sheep are torn and scattered. And false prophets abound who deny the danger and laugh at the perils which surround thy flock. The sheep are deceived by these hirelings and follow them with touching loyalty while the wolf closes in to kill and destroy. I beseech thee, give me sharp eyes to detect the presence of the enemy. Give me understanding to see and courage to report what I see faithfully. Make my voice so like thine own that even the sick sheep will recognise it and follow thee. Lord Jesus, I come to thee for spiritual preparation. Lay thy hand upon me. Anoint me with the oil of the New Testament prophet. Forbid that I should become a religious scribe and thus lose my prophetic calling. Save me from the curse that lies dark across the modern clergy. The curse of compromise, of imitation, of professionalism. Save me from the error of judging a church by its size, its popularity, or the amount of its yearly offering. Help me to remember that I am a prophet, not a promoter, not a religious manager, but a prophet. Let me never become a slave to the crowds. Heal my soul of carnal ambitions and deliver me from the itch of publicity. Save me from the bondage of things. Let me not waste my days puttering round the house. Lay thy terror upon me, O God, and drive me to the place of prayer where I may wrestle with principalities and powers and the rulers of darkness of this world. Deliver me from overeating and late sleeping. Teach me self-discipline that I may be a good soldier of Jesus Christ. I accept hard work and small rewards in this life. I ask for no easy place. I shall try to be blind to the little ways that could make life easier. If others see the smoother path, I shall try to take the hard way without judging them too harshly. I shall expect opposition and try to take it quietly when it comes. Or if, as sometimes it falleth out to thy servants, I shall have grateful gifts pressed upon me by thy kindly people. Stand by me then and save me from the blight that often follows. Teach me to use whatever I receive in such manner that will not injure my soul nor diminish my spiritual power. And if in thy permissive providence honour should come to me from thy church, let me not forget in that hour that I am unworthy of the least of thy mercies, and that if men knew me as intimately as I know myself, 
they would withhold their honours or bestow them upon others more worthy to receive them. And now, O Lord of heaven and earth, I consecrate my remaining days to thee. Let them be many or few, as thou wilt. Let me stand before the great or minister to the poor and lowly. That choice is not mine, and I would not influence it if I could. And I am thy servant to do thy will, and that will is sweeter to me than position or riches or fame, and I choose it above all things on earth or in heaven. Though I am chosen by thee and honoured by a high and holy calling, let me never forget that I am but a man of dust and ashes, a man with all the natural faults and passions that plague the race of men. I pray thee therefore, my Lord and my Redeemer, save me from myself and all the injuries I may do myself while trying to be a blessing to others. Fill me with thy power by the Holy Spirit, and I will go in thy strength and tell of thy righteousness, even thine only. I will spread abroad the message of redeeming love while normal powers endure. And then, dear Lord, when I am old and weary and too tired to go on, have a place ready for me above, and make me to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting.